Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Well, we are looking at mostly clear skies out there this evening, maybe some high clouds off to the west, but that's about it. We're going to keep it clear, keep it quiet. It's going to be a little bit more humid later on tonight and tomorrow than it was this morning. We'll take you right out the door here again. Our live Centix seamless gutter sky tracker. It's on top of the Waco Hyatt Place South, and you are looking in the distance there. That is the I-35 and Highway 6 interchange. Uh, it's uh, looking uh, pretty quiet at this hour. 76 degrees, our temperature. Again, skies are mostly clear. Clear. Wind has been out of the east and slightly southeast right around seven miles per hour. Here's the drought monitor again. This is a brand new every Thursday hot off the presses and this definitely looks better and better, especially from last week. The callers last week were a little bit farther off to the east there on the other side of 35. Now they are on the west side of 35, so definitely some improvement and not as many bright colors to show you either, which is also some good news. Still some dry conditions though, and as you work away from western McLennan County over toward Coriel, we definitely could still use some rainfall and we do have a chance tomorrow night even farther down to the south and west, uh, still on the dry side. So any more rain we can get, we'll definitely we'll take. It is 77 degrees right now in Gatesville, 75 in Hillsboro. Temple checks in right at 78, 77 in the Colleen area and still sitting at 83 in College Station. We've got an area of low pressure located toward the Panhill. That's kind of where all the rough weather has been this evening up in the Panhandle and just off to the uh, east of the Amarillo area. But out ahead of it, some showers and thunderstorms starting to weaken just a little bit, but they're so far west that we are not going to see anything from that whatsoever. What we are going to see overnight tonight is temperatures kind of going back down in the mid to upper 60s. So more moisture starting to creep in here and that'll keep those overnight low temperatures up just a bit as we go throughout the morning. Mostly sunny skies, a, a nice looking Friday to start. Temperatures will definitely start to climb. And as we hit the afternoon hours, though, we will notice by five o'clock, a line of showers and thunderstorms developing. You can kind of see from Comanche down toward Mills, maybe the Gulfway area, kind of tailing down toward Lampasas and eventually down toward Sinsaba. That will continue to roll and it kind of falls apart now in this latest run uh, as the front moves through. So these runs are again having a harder time with some of the shower activity moving through, but you can see where there's a line is taking it a little bit farther south and west right now of our area. Any thunderstorm that does move through late tomorrow, maybe early on Saturday, will have the possibility of bringing some hail and some strong winds with it, but it's not going to last long. And it looks like by noontime in the afternoon on Saturday, we're talking uh, definitely some quiet conditions. But once again, we need to watch in the skies here tomorrow night as most of our area under the yellow. The yellow is a two out of five. That is a slight risk of severe weather. Our main threats with any thunderstorms that happen to get a little noisy would be those high winds. Also some large hail followed by maybe some heavy rainfall too since the ground's kind of still soggy there. It's not going to take much for any isolated flooding to occur. So we'll watch that uh, as we go through tomorrow night. Tonight though, no problem. Mostly clear 67 and then tomorrow we're talking mostly sunny skies. Clouds start to increase in the afternoon. I've got a 40% chance of showers and storms in the evening right now. About 90 degrees, the high temperature. And then as we look ahead, once again, this is the Daniel Stark Long Range 10 day forecast. Otherwise, a sprinkle or two early Saturday, a mix of sun and clouds. I think more clouds than anything. 79 degrees on Saturday, 79 on Sunday. Next week, we start to warm it back up. We also see a few hit and miss chances along the way. Nothing major. And then by the end of next week, we are talking temperatures back into the upper 80s to lower 90s. And then down toward the Brazos Valley, we are looking at about 89 degrees, a 40% chance or so of some showers and storms to very late Friday into Saturday. And then by the weekend, again, more clouds and sunshine, upper 70s to around 80 degrees. And next week, we're going to warm it right back up into the mid 80s for highs. And again, some hit and miss. Showers and storms, but uh, not as uh, you know bad as it was last week. I say bad, but it wasn't bad because we needed the rain. It was mm -hmm. good that we had it. So right. 